This 14 square kilometer hilltop claims to be a centuries old microstate. Saborga could look like any other village on the Italian Riviera. But Nina Minigato is proud of her tiny realm of 320 inhabitants. The 41 year old German born businesswoman was elected princess last November. But the princess will have to wait until August to don her crown after the coronavirus pandemic delayed her coronation. I guess every little girl has a dream of being a princess, so um, it's like a fairy tale. And um, well, later on, no, I didn't think ever I would become a princess. I mean, I have been working for the previous government, but I have been behind the scene. And I didn't think to be in front, but um, I got lots of support from the population and I really appreciated this. <laughs> Saborga has its own pretend police, its own currency, the linguini, its own flag, and its own decorative license plates and even passports. These are for fun. But in a twist to the Micronation's fairy tale plot, a pretender prince from France has set up an online Saborgan shadow state. Nicolas Mut is, for now, excluding the local Italian population from his self proclaimed principality, but promises soon to start issuing real passports. We're moving forward progressively, and we will hopefully be offering a Saborgan nationality to its inhabitants very soon. His Serene Highness Nicholas I, as he likes to be known, has been charged in France with crimes including fraud and using counterfeit currency, charges that he denies. Nevertheless, the Italian authorities have an eye on the turbulent principality. The local policeman makes weekly visits to see what's going on in Saborga and he knows about everything, so if there's any funny business, the police station at Bordighera is ready to intervene. Saborga's claim to fame is that the Knights Templar are said to have hidden the Holy Grail here. Authorities say documents dating to the 18th century prove it has never legally incorporated into Italy. Princess Minigato hopes this claim and her upcoming coronation will boost tourism to this fairy tale village, now complete with its very own royal rivalry.